Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a really cool team for whizzing through this wild event of the Emerald Encounter. Must be green enemies, judging by that name. Only guessing. Anyway, first thing you want to do in these kind of things is because you do these with your guild mates who may have started this event already, is to collect the rewards absolutely straight away. And the reason is you're going to grab tokens of might. And here we go, collect three tokens of the same type to evolve it into a badge, which we can do. We'll evolve it and open this Orb of Growth at the same time. Ooh, Orb of Ascension. Thank you very much. All right, Badge of Might. As you can see, it gives 100, uh, well, 40% at first, 40% skull and spell damage for all troops in the current event. Eventually, if you get enough of these things, it will evolve into a Medal of Night, which does 160% skull and spell damage. So basically, this team is going to get stronger and stronger, actually, as we go along. So now we've got our badge. You want to pop it into your medal set. I'm going to put it on the end one. There it is, badge of might. Done that. That's now applied. We can go back and start the event again. Done a Soul Forge review earlier, seeing what's good and bad in the Soul Forge this week. Check that out if you're not seeing it already. All right, from the shop, the next thing you want to do is grab Tier 1. This is a week-long event, so this is totally worth getting. It's 30 gems, totally well spent. We'll grab that. We're going to get a Potion of Enchantment. All our troops are going to start enchanted at the start of each and every battle for the entirety of this event. As well as that, you're going to get other troops, more tokens, more sigils, and more stuff. All good. Right, you can get more of these as we go along, but you do get more uh, sigils every single day when you run out, so don't go panicking, buy all these, you can get to two or three, four, five, six, whatever you like, it's as far as you want to go. The idea ultimately is to complete all these stages with the assistance of your guild. So don't be a slacker, help out and do your bit, and hopefully everybody else will do the same. Right, now on to the team itself. Let's start on Leo Corn. Okay, for this team, we've got a really, really simple team for this. We're restricted to mana color green. But this team, you really, really cannot go wrong. It's going to absolutely whiz through the event. Got them in this order at first, simply because we do not need the hero up the top, because we want to get as much purple and green as we can for Vanoxia, because this is going to basically just destroy the team in the early stages. As things progress, you probably will want to put Essence of Evil up to the top for a bit more protection. But the way this team works is, and I'll show some alternatives if you don't have Vinoxia or Queen Beatrix. Vinoxia creates 9 green and 9 blue, then deals a decent amount of true damage to all enemies. So this is going to absolutely wipe out the enemy at the first early stages. As well as that, because she creates 9 green and blue, this feeds Queen Beatrix, who then creates 9 green and brown. So this is really good. It doesn't matter too much the fact that we don't use brown in this team because these two just loop together really, really well. And we can cast Essence of Evil if we feel like it. Can shove that on the first troop, stop them doing any skull damage, stop them casting spells, shut them down completely, and they've got a chance to just die automatically. Leprechaun gives us a nice fast start to this team. Uh, we've got the Potion of Enchantment anyway, and the hero does start with 50% mana, but we can just cast Leprechaun from the start and get a nice swift start that way. If you don't have either Vinoxia or Queen Beatrix, then absolutely go with somebody like King Gobtruffle. Cannot go wrong with something like that. Really, really good. Damage to all. It creates a mix of green and brown as well. Fantastic troop. Can get looping. You can even chuck two of them in the team. Can't go wrong. With the banner, I've gone for the plus two green, plus one purple, minus one red. A spider banner. And I'm going in Archer Class for this. Lots of things to like about Archer Class when you're using, using green. Gain one life for each green ally. Start battles with 50% mana. Like I say, you will pop the hero to the top. Eventually, if you're a newer player, I would probably recommend putting the hero to the top absolutely straight away. It gives you a lot more protection. And 15% chance for skull damage to be lethal can really be handy as well. And the talent trees, we're going to go for Hunt. We're getting a lot of four matches with this team. So that really does help and make a difference. None of these are relevant. 
Root Trap, again, really, really handy for that protection at the beginning. Nature's Aura, a Leaf Storm at the start is green, which is exactly what we want. Wall of Vines, all green allies gain 5 armor. Dodge, 30% chance to dodge skull damage, really important if you have the hero in first slot. And none of these ones are particularly relevant. Right, so let's dive in. I'm not going to make this a, a long video because it's going to work. And this is just going to be all you're doing for this event. We may as well grab things like that anyway, because you get the hunter's mark then. And we've already killed someone. There we go. Gob Truffle. Gob Truffle. Vinoxia or Queen Beatrix. Whoever takes your fancy. If you want to hear Queen Beatrix laughing at everyone, then do that. Always take the highest value troops. Um, the legendary ones are worth more than the ultra rares and so on and so on. So again, if there's no natural formatters or anything like that, just cast away with a leprechaun. We're going to get charged up really fast. Vinoxia. That's charged up Queen Beatrix. Didn't need it. They were both ready to cast again straight away. This is going to steam through this event. And we've got some tracks as well. I'm just going to go to the higher level ones if I can to um, see if the difficulty increases. It's not going to matter too much. Even if you're a newer player to the game, then this is still going to be a really cool team which is going to just whiz you through this event with the greatest of ease. And Queen Bee can obviously loop on herself, let alone have the chance to charge up other people as well. The Emerald Giant. Let's bash this giant. Alright, cast Leprechaun. We've got a green storm going on, so green gems fall more than other colours. Let's cast Phenoxia. And Queen Bee was ready to cast again. And we've got a crystal. Alright, let's do the legendary troops. Nice four match there though, so we'll grab that instead of casting Leprechaun first, then we cast Leprechaun. Queen Bee, Orvanoxia, whoever takes your fancy. Obviously the power of both those is based on your magic level. If your damage is not quite as high as mine, then you may have to cast them both, but like I said, they really, really work fantastically well together. One of the best combinations in the game. The way they just loop together. Look at that. If you're a newer player, you may want to cast Essence of Evil on one of the top troops first. Make sure they're you're protected from the um, any potential damage they could cause or skull damage. Better to be safe than dead. As somewhere, someone, maybe, somewhere said once, possibly, maybe. Probably. Well, they just did, because I just said it. But maybe that doesn't count. I don't know. Not much green there from the start, but still worth casting Leprechaun because we've got a storm going on, so we can collect some incidental drops from that. And let's cast B, cast Phenoxia, and win away. Frost Guardian is a pretty cool troop. Not much green there now, so this is probably better if we just take a straight purple. Now let's cast Leprechaun. There we go. It's got B and Vinoxia up. Cast one, then the other. Vinoxia is all ready to go again and B was ready to go again. All troops were charged. This is going to be easy. And like I said, remember as we go along. Uh, the, uh, don't need that, want to do that one. As you progress through this event and that medal gets stronger and stronger or the badge gets stronger and stronger you're going to ultimately be doing 160% damage don't even need to collect these I'm just doing it just because now but look at the amount of blue and green there ludicrous absolutely walk in the park so I'll just do a few more fights because this honestly it's not going to get any more tricky than what we're seeing now. I'm 
There we go. Cast one, then the other. Didn't even need to. Leo Corn. You're not going to be happy, mate. Bye, bye. Right. So I'll just do a couple more because no need to drag it out. This is just going to be as simple as this. Restricted to just green, but that's pretty much all we needed. Let's get purple for Vinoxia. Look, say if you don't have one of the or the other of Vinoxia or Queen Beatrix, then chuck a King, King Gobtruffle in there. King Gobtruffle available from the Underworld, from the Amanithrax faction. Queen Beatrix from the Deep Hive, which is located near the bottom of the Underworld. If you don't have these troops, Go get them. They are superb. Particularly Queen Beatrix. She's, she can win games on her own. I think everybody's experienced those games with Queen Beatrix where she got to cast and then basically just wiped out your entire team while just repeatedly casting again and again. But um, yeah, there's a video. I'm not going to make it any longer than that. There really is no need. And it's going to be very straightforward, this event. Keep on collecting your tokens as you go along. Enjoy the fight. Enjoy the rewards. It's all good. There's a video. If you enjoyed it, then or found it helpful, useful, any of the above, then um, feel free to feel like hitting that like and subscribe button. It makes you feel like a really good person. And you can tell your guild, tell your pets, any dogs, cats, fish, goldfish, monkeys, budgies, donkeys. I don't know what pets you got, but tell everyone. It helps spread the word about how cool hopefully my videos are. Anyway, enough of that. I'm out of here. Enjoy the fight. There's nothing else to um, say. And I'm really started waffling now. So stop waffling. End the video. Say thanks for watching. And goodbye.